In trouble and on the run from our cameras. Tonight, WBZ with exclusive new information on a local doctor accused of snapping photos of a woman in a restroom. We've learned that he has been accused before. And now a woman tells us how she tried to help police catch him. WBZ's Kate Merrill has been working her sources tonight. She's live outside UMass Medical Campus this evening. Kate? Lisa, cardiologist Dr. Cooper lost his job here at UMass for what police say happened in a bathroom here last fall. But my source is telling me this isn't the first time he's been accused of something like this. He was actually suspended from medical school because of a situation very similar. Tonight, I sat down with one of the witnesses who helped campus police catch up with him. Doctor, can we talk with you? That's Dr. Marcus Cooper sprinting from our cameras, the Worcester cardiologist refusing to talk to us about charges that he snapped cell phone pictures of a student in the bathroom. Gentlemen, can we talk about this? But minutes earlier, the prosecutor said plenty. At that time, she observed what she described as nothing and a camera lens of a phone um, pointing down towards her as she used a uh, the bathroom. It was September 1st when a 26 year old medical student reports she was in a stall at UMass Medical Center where Dr. Cooper was an associate professor when she saw a camera phone over the door snapping her semi nude picture. She was very upset. Yeah, she was crying and she was really distressed. Claudia Fellini, a research assistant professor at UMass, was there in the hallway when it happened. It was really shocking. I, uh, didn't expect anything like that. She tells us she tried to help the victim chasing after Dr. Cooper when he refused to stop. I was really shocked, <laughs> so I tried to run after him, but we just lost sight of him. But according to my sources, this is not the first time Dr. Cooper has been accused of something like this. Back in 1994, when he was a medical student at Johns Hopkins, he was suspended for a year, and according to my sources, it was for putting a mirror under a bathroom stall. He even had to write a letter of apology. Like his client, his lawyer wouldn't say much. His employer, though, UMass Medical Center, will only say he no longer works there. And for Claudia, also an employee of UMass, that is a relief. This person is, I think he's sick. He has definitely some problem and needs some help. Uh, and, you know, he's not going to stop. Johns Hopkins confirms to WBZ tonight that Cooper left medical school in January of 1995 and did not return until 1997. As for his cell phone, my sources tell me it is locked. They cannot get onto it, so we may never know what is on the doctor's phone. As for Dr. Cooper, he denies all the charges. Live in Worcester, Kate Merrill, WBZ News. David. All right, good work out there tonight, Kate. Thank you.